Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am S.A. Jackie Lynn and this is Seven Days to Die. It has been my new thing. I can't stop playing it. But anyways, wanted to show off our little town and the dedicated server that the S.A. has. So, we have quite the town. I was going to start with my cafe. So here we have the cafe, uh, our endless water supply. If you want to see here, I also have some chrysanthemum growing and I have my own garden. I like things to be fresh. People could come out here and grab a drink. Keep it organized, obviously. Um, also have a few learning elixirs. Got to build up the super corn. We have a vending machine. We have a window you could come up to. And those can be closed. People can come up and grab some food. I have been cooking a lot. And then, oh, also, jack-o'-lanterns. Because it's always spooky season. And then, so people come in, they drop off some raw food for me to cook. I cook it it in that box for them to get this is where they used to get it now this is just some food that I keep over here some people add some donations or tips um, and then we have you know the usual stuff for keeping stuff organized I grow my mushrooms on the wall I have a secret box for me I have meds that's for everyone and then my seeds, I keep locked because I worked hard on those. Let me tell you. And, of course, garage. That's where uh, all that stuff is. Chemistry station. But since this is a cafe, we have to have some feeding, obviously. Gladys, stay out of my way. So, come upstairs to the other area where you can look out the windows. And then, uh, I have my bed in here for now. For now. But, anyways, the lovely balcony. It's enclosed. You get a view of the castle that someone is building over there. Uh, for their home. I have a dirt house, which I could show off. And we have someone living there. We also have... A few houses right there in the middle which I will be showing off but we're going to take the Jeep because it's faster so just uh, get in so I have the gyrocopter out here in case we're taking long trip make sure we got to close that so the castle is up there. It is in construction, so I won't show it off until she has it the way she wants it. And over here, lovely, lovely house. Beautiful. But uh, she also has some water. She also gardens, as you can see gorgeous garden. Looks like it's about ready. We'll go in the side door real quick. So in here she has some feeding, some dump boxes, because some people like to come in and just dump things. Has an upstairs. I think that's her bedroom. The downstairs. She does all the grinding in here, so she uh, gathers all the things. Uh, also has a garage over here. Um, so, yeah, lovely, lovely. Then, make sure I don't grab her car on my way out. Right over here. Uh, we have two people living here, but they are in the process of moving everything. But here is their lovely entryway. 
boxes. They're working on the upstairs. I'll leave that for uh, if they finish up. Area through here. But yeah, they have a few special rooms, lots of boxes. But the exciting thing is in the basement, where they have way more boxes, lots of stuff. They have their water over here. And uh, let's see, more boxes. There's endless storage down here. Endless. And the great thing is that it connects to the other houses. So, it looks like this is unlocked, thankfully. All right. So in here, we have someone else's basement. They have their kitchen here. These are all storage boxes that they uh, painted. Made it look very nice. Forges, cement mixers, lots of storage again, lots of crafting things, um, and upstairs. Let's I'll show their upstairs while I'm here. Lovely stairs, a lovely painting, and their garage, and it brings in some nice light there. But if we go downstairs, we get to go to another house this way. So down here, lots of weapons, excellent lighting. Then in here, and this is someone else's house. I'm not sure we close the door if we want. There we go. So come in here. Once again, storage, forges, cement mixers. Chemistry stations, all the storage, and endless water supply. Lovely painting job here as well. The garage. So. Uh, we started at the house way over here. But these three houses are connected. So. Let's see the rest of the town. Behind the diner here, uh, after work, I like to seclude myself in a dirt house. Okay, we have the door to get in. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. And then we come in here, where I have been mining uh, nitrate, iron, and coal. But we have a uh, fun little tunnel here, and it goes all the way to the other side of the hill. So basically, I'm making my house be the hill, you know, like a hobbit. Over here, we have a couple of uh, horde base designs here. So. This one was the one that we started with, I believe, but made it to where zombies have to try to get to you this way. And uh, stay in here, shoot them all, all that good stuff. Looks like it needs some repairs, but we're working on other horde bases as well so that we could try to split up the zombies uh, when the horde arrives. So over here, we have a few different stores uh, to add to our town. Over here, we have the auto store. We have the sheriff's station. We have a bar. So I will show you around. Over here, we have some vehicles for sale. Here is the show car on the floor, vending machine. Over here, you make the purchases for the vehicles and uh, you sign away your life to own one. Over here, the sheriff station. Obviously, we need one of these. So we have ourselves, nice and brightly lit. 
desk area. We have storage for food and drink. And I just took a frame shape. I'm sorry. I'll fix that later. <laughs> and then over here we have the bar. For those that don't know, on Seven Days to Die, uh, if you are uh, especially a brawler, uh, beer helps to boost that. Uh, it's still slightly under construction in here, but uh, looks like there is a giant screen TV. Some places for the drinks. And parking spaces. Very nice. All right, so we also have a hotel. It's called the Doghouse. This has been very carefully and lovingly put together uh, by one person. Inside, I still need to help furnish it. But here's the inside, you can park your vehicle. Here is the diner area. That's where all the food is. Uh, Everyone can have a seat in here. And then back here, we have the deck area with the pool. Lots of coolers. And the door to the kitchen. But then we have the stairs leading up here. And as you can see, someone is living in here. It's their space. They're living in a suite. And this is what a typical regular room will look like in the hotel. Every floor has places for people to do their own cooking, crafting, anything with the forge or mixer. And on every floor, there is a balcony overlooking the area, the suite you are able to look out from uh, your own door. And then, uh, like I said, every floor has pretty much the same design. But we go up here and you can look out on the whole place. Some gorgeous views up here. As you can see, after we chop down trees, we build them up again so we could chop them down again, get more lumber. Uh, you can see the old horde base from there. The new horde base is over there, which I will be showing off. That was very newly installed by someone today. So get a nice view of it. So over here we have the new horde base, which was just put up today. And then get up here. These ladders are easily made so they could be picked up. We have some turrets over here, some lights. Well, we go down here where we're going to be. And there's all sorts of traps and wiring and different ways the zombies have to try to make it through. Then we have our storage for things like ammo, things to upgrade the base, meds and nourishment. Let you come over here, turn on the turret, turn on the light. They're on. Anyways, so uh, this will power up the spinning blades, the electric fences, uh, the dart traps. It uh, it will be something. I hope you enjoyed the view into the SA community in our. Uh, special little town that we have built. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for a name for our town, uh, let me know. We are still trying to name it. Have a great day, guys. Bye!